getting one with another one. Let's go. What is going on today, YouTube? I hope you guys are all having an absolutely wavy day to day. And today we finally got our hands on Call of Duty Vanguard. And this is going to be just kind of like a first impressions video. So it's a nice short and sweet gameplay on Eagle's Nest. As you see me get taken out right there by that guy, but I'm gonna get him back plenty of times. <laughs> but yeah, so first impressions on Vanguard. Now this game, I wanna say it's it's decent. It's not bad. Um, it, it has a lot of potential. There's just a couple things that I wish that they, you know, fixed with this game. Um, so the spawns, let's just talk about the spawns right off the bat. Like the spawns in this game are probably the worst it's ever been in this series, even worse than advanced warfare. And that game has some pretty bad spawns, but the spawns in this game, and I kind of called this in my previous video about the Vanguard beta that I don't think that they're going to be able to tune the spawns like correctly ever in this game just because like the higher game mode lobbies with sorry the, the higher player count lobbies with you know up to 12v12 10v10 those are just going to be chaotic guys like and some of the maps in this game are small now on the bigger maps the spawns isn't too much of a bad deal but on the small maps you will literally get killed by somebody spawn in behind them and then be able to just kill them that's happened to me so many times in this game but i i honestly i, I kind of filtered the uh what is the combat pacing and i made it so i'm only in like at the most 10 v 10 lobbies because i switched the combat pacing to tactable ta tactable <laughs> tactical um and that basically makes it smaller, uh, smaller player count lobbies, which that's fine by me. I'm not really a fan of, you know, more than, say, 6v6, honestly. But if I, if I wanted to play, you know, Call of Duty with, or if I wanted to play a, a first-person shooter with a, high, a really high play, player count, I'd go play Battlefield, you know? But... Call of Duty, I don't really care about having 12 other people running around. I, I just want a 6v6. I just feel like that's the like the best player count if you're just trying to get some breathing room, you know? Like, man, in those 12v12 lobbies, like, you literally, like, if this map right, if this match right here on this map was 12v12, it would be so chaotic. Like, there would literally be no time to breathe. You would have to be so twitchy, so sweaty. And speaking of sweat, the, the SBMM in this game is absolutely insane. It's probably worse than Cold War and Modern Warfare's skill-based matchmaking. Like, my first round, they threw me in a lobby. I was the only level one. And everybody else was level 15 and above. And the highest level in that lobby was a guy who was like level 38. And that just made no sense to me like i understand that you know skill based matchmaking it ain't going nowhere it's gonna be here but for someone who's literally just in their first match why would you throw them in a lobby filled with you know that many good players like it, it just doesn't make any sense to me like what the next call of duty should do is make it so I forgot what the what what the game mode was called, but back in Black Ops One, yeah, I'm gonna take it back a little bit. In Black Ops One in 2010, there was a game mode where you could stay in until you were like level 10, and it was basically made for noobs. So if you were new to the game, you got put into that. Uh, you can you can play that game mode, and essentially you wouldn't get. You know, you wouldn't be in a match with people who are just going to, you know, absolutely poop on you. <laughs> like, so for the new players or like people who just start now, they should have that game mode. And man, I, I can't remember what the name of it was, but it, it was a really good game mode where, you know, if you're new to the game, you kind of just go in there you, and you can stay there until you're level 10. And then 
after level 10, then you can join the sweat fest. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I feel like they should have that kind of game mode just because like it was ridiculous yesterday when I played this game and then I just get thrown immediately in the sweat field match like from the rip and oh, I can tell you I was not having fun on this game last night but after I unlocked a couple different attachments for the MP40 and then I checked out the shotgun today and I've been having so much fun with this shotgun cheese um, I'm using incendiary rounds on it it's the pump action shotgun I want to say it's the second shotgun you unlock if you guys are wondering but it's an absolute beast and I love it I'm just kind of embracing the cheese <laughs> you know, you got to do what you can do to have fun in Call of Duty these days, but that's how I have fun. And I actually really like these new, uh, I guess this is the new winner circle, kind of like how Black Ops 3 did, but kind of took it up a notch. You can vote for the, MP, the MVP and yeah, I mean, it gets kind of annoying after like the first three, <laughs> the first three times you see it, but it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see y'all in the next one. Hit the one out.